everyone. My name is Kushmin Campbell and I am a program manager in Azure Stack at CIT. In this session, I will show you how to set up Azure Virtual Desktop on your on-premises infrastructure with Azure Stack at CI and enable secure remote work in minutes. We'll start off with looking at what is Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack at CI. Then we'll deep dive into the architecture diagram. Uh, we'll look at the deployment method and Azure Virtual Desktop tile in the Get Started tab, followed by a quick demo, and then we'll recap. Azure Virtual Desktop is a cloud VDI solution. It provides an efficient and flexible way to manage your desktop and apps virtualization without compromising on control. Since it's a managed service, customers now don't need to worry about setting up and maintaining the VDI infrastructure layer anymore, which is one of the major pain points with a traditional VDI solution. Also, customers can take advantage of Windows 11 and Windows 10 multi-session client experience which comes exclusively with Azure Virtual Desktop. But not everything can be in public cloud due to compliance and regulatory reasons, data locality requirements, and latency-sensitive workloads. These are essentially some of the reasons why some of our customers, even though realizing the benefits of a managed cloud VDA solution, were not able to move to it. To solve this problem, we are bringing Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack HCI and bringing these two services together. This offering is called Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack at CI. And with this, customers can enjoy the benefits of a cloud VDI solution while being in full control of their data and full control of their Azure Stack at CI cluster. With Azure Virtual Desktop on Azure Stack at CI, you will get the benefits of a cloud-based VDI solution and no overhead of managing infrastructure like brokers, gateways, etc. while staying in full control of your HCI cluster management as well as your data. You will get unified management experience across Azure and Stack HCI, which is in Azure. You can now pack more users in a VM by leveraging Windows 11, Windows 10 multi-session and lower your cost as now you will need less number of VMs to deploy and hence less hardware. Multi-session is only available in Azure Virtual Desktop in Azure and on Azure Stack HCI. Another way to achieve high user density is by sharing GPUs using GPU partitioning. Imagine using one GPU across multiple VMs and now each VM can have multiple users with multi-session OS. You can now see how this multiplies very quickly. Microsoft 365 and Teams are optimized to provide the best experience for our users. With RDP Short Path, users can get a consistent low latency access to their session hosts. So imagine if your users and your session hosts were on the same network, either because they were both on-premise or connected over a VPN, RDP Short Path basically short circuits that communication and provides for a great low latency access. These were some of the benefits of using Azure Virtual Desktop on Azure Stack at CI. Let's take a look at a high-level architecture diagram. As you can see, Azure Virtual Desktop service is living in Azure Cloud. The service takes care of your brokering, your gateways, load balancing, um, monitoring capabilities, etc. Hence, it's a managed cloud VDI service provided by Microsoft. Down below in the diagram, you can see your on-premises infrastructure, which is Azure Stack HCI. Azure Stack HCI can have one or more nodes running on it. Um, running in the cluster is your virtual machine. What I want to call out is that there are two agents running on this virtual machine, Azure Arc agent and Azure Virtual Desktop agent, and both of these need to talk to Azure Virtual Desktop service. This machine is joined to an on-premises AD, which is getting synced to an Azure Active Directory using AD Connect. When a user logs on to uh, their end device using a remote desktop client or a remote desktop tool, they will see a combination of their desktops and applications based on uh, what application groups they're part of, what, 
which host pool they are part of. And this experience could be a single session experience or a multi-session experience or a, or a shared experience. Um, so this was a, a brief high level architecture diagram for you guys so that you have an understanding of how these two services talk to each other and work together. So with all the information that I have provided you so far, you must be wondering, how can I deploy Azure Virtual Desktop on Azure Stack HCI? So there are a couple of manual steps, starting with creating the virtual machine on your HCI cluster using Windows Admin Center. You will then onboard that VM to Azure by installing a connected machine agent or Azure Arc agent on it. You will then manually create Azure Virtual Desktop objects through portal uh, and objects like host pool, workspace, and application group. You will then download and install Azure Virtual Desktop Agent on the virtual machine that you have just manually created and will register that machine as a session host using these agents. Uh, you will also do an on-premises domain join of the VM. So as you can see, there are a lot of manual steps which can be very te tedious and cumbersome. So you must be wondering, is there an easier way to deploy Azure Virtual Desktop or Azure Stack HCI? We are bringing to you Azure Virtual Desktop workload type in Stack HCI overview page. It's a lightweight portal experience which uses the power of Azure Resource Manager or ARM templates for an end-to-end -end deployment. So you will see how just in a few clicks you can do a full deployment of Azure Virtual Desktop on Azure Stack HCI. So on your Azure Stack HCI cluster that is registered to Azure, you will now see a Get Started tab in your cluster's resource page. Under the Get Started tab, you'll see an Azure Virtual Desktop tile. Using this tile, you can do an end-to-end -end deployment uh, of, of your environment. This tile uh, brings in Arc VM management feature of Azure Stack HCI by using Azure Marketplace images, so that now you can use this, download and use the same images uh, on your on-premises cluster as you do in Azure Public Cloud. Second, Arc VM extension, which integrates with tools which helps you to run configurations after a VM is created, and third, ARM resources, so that any uh, so that every on-premises VM and its disk and its network gets promoted as a first-class Azure resource. The style also gives you information about what prerequisites are to be met. There are two prerequisites. The first one is that there should be at least one Windows image, which can be taken care of now using the Azure Marketplace images. And the second one is there should be Arc VM management. It also provides uh, links to uh, understand each of these prerequisites in more detail. Uh, if either of the prerequisites are not met, the tile will not allow you to proceed with deployment. So let's take a quick look at the demo now and get more in-depth knowledge about the process. You go to your Azure portal and your Stack HCI cluster in the overview page is and get started tab and you'll see Azure Virtual Desktop type. Prerequisites are not met in this case and you cannot proceed with the deployment. Clicking on prerequisite, you'll see that RPM management is not set up and there is a link to the setup guide. All the information of how to set up RPM management is there. There is a requirement to set up ARC resource bridge, custom location, creating a virtual switch and so on. And this guide can be followed for that setup. Also, there's not a single Windows image on this cluster. So now let's see how that can be done. We have now set up Arc VM management on this cluster, which is not part of this demo. The only prerequisite not met is not having a Windows image. As you can see, there is a link that brings you to downloading an image from Azure Marketplace. Once you click on it, create a, a new window opens to create an image. You will 
select a name for it. You will select which marketplace image you want to create or, or download and then you will click on next. Once the validation passed, you hit on deployment and this image will get created on your cluster. As you can see now, both the prerequisites are met and it allows us to move forward for the deployment. Coming back, I have now entered all the details which are needed in this ARM template like host pool name, vCPU count, image ID, etc. Once the details have hit on review and create and the validation has passed. Once the validation passed, click on create and that is it. The deployment is in progress. Once the deployment is completed, you can see that it has created a host pool, application group, a workspace and then also uh, it has created one VM network interface and three custom extensions on that VM. If we go back to the host pool, we can see there's one total machine created, which is the demo day machine. We can see the configuration of the VM here in portal and also that the guest management is enabled along with the three extension custom script domain join and azure monitor coming back to the application group uh, there's a default application group uh, that is created as part of the template and that's a desktop application type uh, i've also created a second application group manually and this one has a few applications like excel powerpoint and microsoft Teams. Three users have been created in the on-premises Active Directory being synced to Azure Active Directory using AD Connect and they are part of either one or both of the application groups that I've shown. As you can see, each user will see a different combination of apps and desktop based on their application group. I'm also able to log in onto uh, these applications uh, for these different users. I can see total sessions active sessions as well as disconnected sessions on AVD portal. And this is how you can deploy Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack HCI and manage your desktop and apps virtualization from virtually anywhere in a truly hybrid environment. I hope you enjoyed the demo. So moving along, let's do a quick recap of Azure Virtual Desktop Tile. So it helps you to discover uh, Azure Virtual Desktop easily on Azure Portal, you just go to your Stack HCI overview page and under the Get Started tab, there it is. Uh, the, the tile helps you to identify prerequisites and if they are met or not met. It provides information about which prerequisites are not met and it won't let you proceed um, otherwise. Uh, the prerequisites are that there should be at least one Windows image uh, and there should be ArcVM management set up on the cluster. If either of these are not met, it will provide you uh, information about how to do so. And third, ease of deployment. Using a single ARM template, you can do an end-to-end -end deployment uh, and also uh, you can use uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 multi-session images uh, which can be directly downloaded from Azure Marketplace. Uh, you will also in this ARM um, template be able to join the VM as a session host by running custom script extension but all of this is part of the ARM um, template itself. So to recap, discoverability identifying missing prerequisites and ease of deployment. These are some of the resources which will help you learn more about Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack HCI in terms of deployment, prerequisites, understanding the concepts and so on. Uh, I hope that this information will be useful for you. So this is how you can deploy Azure Virtual Desktop for Azure Stack HCI. I hope you found this information useful. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.